All right. We are online. Let's pop this chat out. What's up? Who will be first? Who will be first? Vamp. So, today. We can do some Day of the Dead stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to do another piece similar to the one JJ purchased because people have been asking for more of those. So, we're just going to do more of those. What's up, y'all? Doris, Jacqueline, Nita, Crystal. And you guys want to see one of the fluffs? Bobo beans. Bobo, bobo beans. And there's my baby new. Hi, little new. Hey, baby new. Anyways, going through the drive thru, but I'm here. I love the drive thru. I haven't eaten any drive thru things in a couple days. Try not to gain too many LBs before our troop. Nancy says, thanks for doing all these space tutorials. It's our pleasure. Today we're going to do a little bit different. We're going to do a full face. I'm just going to do the eyes, the nose, the mouth. Um, I don't know if I want to just put just maybe a little bit. They can't see what you're doing. Oh, okay. Um, nothing. <laughs> Babe, what? It's Sunday. Well, with all that said, let's go ahead and uh, put an intro in there. In there. You know how you do. I need to make that more into it. Hmm. Where is my? I guess I can use this as a little bit thicker here. All right, so. Thank you, Bethany. We're going with a, uh, a Asian look today. That change it up a little bit. And I like the angle of the face. I'm gonna have to get down in here. Is it Austrian? It says it's good. Nope. Video output low. What would That's that weird. mean? I don't know. What did he say to, to adjust to make that better? Adjust the fit right? Oh god, I can't remember. Should be good now. I think that's what he said is to adjust the bit rate. My phone's not connected to Wi Fi. Is anything of yours connected? Because sure. this computer is not hardwired. I probably everything is. Oh, what are they saying? 
Perfect. Thanks, JJ. All good again. It's what? All good again. Okay. Hopefully it's good now. Hey, Gin Germs. What's up, Ocean? Ocean, you're um, painting should be going out by Tuesday the latest. Mike Reed, what's up? If you guys don't know, Mike Reed's going on Jeff's birthday vacation. Thank you, Doris. JJ. Sobe, what are you doing right now? Right now, I'm just outlining the parts I think I want to cut out. You don't have to cut out see? everything that you that you trace out. Um, I do the black. I'm just doing just the dark parts. So I can just get a good idea of where everything is. I don't know if I want to do that part. Well, you can decide when you're cutting, right? Yeah, like you don't have to, just because you, you, you outline it. See, what I do is I outline it with the Sharpie and then go in and you can see where it is here and just cut out. I'll have to make these. And then that nose, I'm gonna bring that in. Y'all, I hear Bowie chewing on something in my audio peripheral. And I look at him, and he looks at me at the exact same time and stops chewing until I turn around, and then I hear him smacking again. If so, facto, I know he's going to tell me I'm supposed to be doing. had a toddler, but I feel like this is very similar. Hey, Sandra. Oops, sorry, y'all. I'll mute that. I don't know if I want to do this. If I do anything, I'll probably put that hair, make the hair come out. Think out loud. Gage and Emma are best friends. That's so fun. So Don wants to know, how do you know what to cut out and what to leave? Um, well, like I was saying, I'm just doing the dark parts. The dark parts, what make the image look like it, especially in a portrait. Um, you know, the nostrils, the lips. Um, you can cut out shadows, but you're just cutting out, I would probably just cut out something like this, and, and it's not like you're trying to spray that, you're just, when I do spray it, it'll be a light spray, unless you wanna make a stencil just like this, like, and they look, they look awesome if you just wanna spray it so that it's all black or uh, red or whatever color you wanna use. Um, Next question it's, is Jeff. Oh, sorry. Well, it's just it's just the parts that that make up the definition of of the face, basically, and the features. Anne wants to know where you found this picture of her. Well, 
Um, I found it on Pinterest. And her name is Dawn. So what are we doing? What are we doing? This is what's going to worry me. I'll just cut this out on this side. And I always use a new blade. Anytime I use my exacto blade. And these are just, um, I've never seen these. I got them on Amazon. The cheapest that I've ever seen. This was $11, I believe, or 12 on Amazon. Normally they're like 40 bucks. Pretty amazing. Um, I think I have those linked in our Amazon down in the description box below. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, if you can see the name. Why doesn't it want to... Because you probably have autofocus off. All right, so because I have tape here, um, that's why you want to, uh, when, if you do, see I made this stencil, I just blew it up on, on um, Adobe Illustrator um, and then taped it together, but I put the tape on this side, which I shouldn't have done because then the marker doesn't go through. As you can see, there's no nostril there. So I'm going to cut out this nostril. Um, the stuff that I can see, I just, I normally cut it out on this side because it's easier to see what you've, you know, outlined. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'll do the eyes first. He sounds so pitiful. And you don't have to, and you, you really don't want to try to cut them out exactly like how thick these are. You want to kind of go inside your, uh, your marker line just so that you're not, it's not such a, you know, a big, a, you know, because these eyelashes are going to be thin. So just, just kind of stay within. Don't try to do, go outside because you, you're only wanting small lines. You're not, you're not trying to make these big old thick lines. Unless that's what you, you want your uh, your stencil to look like. And that's completely 100% up to you. Especially with noses, the nose part. Do that the thinnest as possible. And then you can darken that in as you go. Cut that out nice and thin. <coughs> Bless you. Thanks. Yes, have you ever tried charcoal and tracing paper? I have. I've done charcoal. I've done lead. That's the only thing that I don't like about that is I lose this. Um, thanks, you guys. Maria says, sorry, you may have already explained this, but how does the black go through? So it goes through because it's just regular printer paper, just standard, regular. It just bleeds. Paper. It just bleeds through. Yeah. Really, really. See, these are the these are the lines that you really want to go thin on, because you're just wanting just a hint of this of this shadow and this line because the nose definitely will Thank you. make that way too much. It says hi. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. But we get so jelly. Oh goodness. Okay. Stop chewing your brother. Oh. See, I just barely cut the, that line out because you're just barely wanting the hint of the 
of the lips joining. And I'm not I'm not gonna cut one solid line, obviously, like it shows here. Um, I'll do it on this one. You're just wanting a hint. That's it. You're just wanting the hint hint of a line to give you basically direction. And I'm I'm self-taught, so if I don't explain something properly or with the right terminology, <laughs> I apologize. Um, I've taught myself to do all of this, watching YouTube videos and just experimenting and practicing throughout the years. Okay, I'm going to take them out real quick while you're doing that. Oh boy, just go ahead. Go, you be sweet. Listen to that guy. Oh See, I barely just cut that out. Like, I didn't cut out that whole black line there. really blown out. Sorry about that. I don't know what that looks like on your guys' end. Alright, so I'm not going to cut this out just yet because I want this piece to, to kind of stay together. And I want to see what this is going to look like on the, uh, on the board. So I'm just going to do these eyes right now. I'm not going to join those. And like I said, you don't have to follow your lines. If you want to make it interesting, if you want to bring the eyelashes out, if you want to make the lips bigger, or if you want to, you know, have fun with it, just experiment with your stencils, especially these. Like, just get some cheap copy paper, make copies. Um... What I started doing um, in the beginning, when I started doing faces, was just half of it, just to just to just to see what it was like. Um, sometimes a a, uh, a full face stencil is a little intimidating, and you're just like, I don't want to. You you try to make it symmetrical, or you try to make it perfect. When you do just a half of one, it's not that difficult. You know, it's not. There's just not so much, you know, to it. So you don't really get overwhelmed too much. I don't think I've ever done a stencil like this, like this angle before. So I'm kind of nervous on how to fill some of this stuff in. I don't know how much I'm going to fill in or I'm just going to leave it like this. But that's how the other two were started. <laughs> And I will look over here in just a minute and read. But I want to get these eyelashes out of the way. And I really wish I had some light on here. Like, it's pretty bright in here, but if there's not direct light where there's dark lines, and I'm using something dark to cut out stuff, I can't see for crap. And especially up close.
And it's also fun to keeping keeping these parts and making a reverse stencil, which is kind of fun. Put those down and paint and finish the eye. That's kind of how you really get a muscle memory thing going. I guess that's what you call it. Um, just by doing this dark part and then getting your reference and putting it next to it and finishing it, you know, you get a little bit, uh, a little more confident on, on painting a face. Uh, with the stencil. And I think I just about cut that eye out. That is not good. All right, turtles. <laughs> it's that over forty disease. What? 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 Uh, what disease? What disease is that? <laughs> This one is going to look. But that's the, that's the, this is another thing. Um, if you don't really think it, it matters, you know, when, if, especially if you're at an angle or if you're, you know, you're doing something that, that that's going to have to look like something or somebody. And there's a part in there that you think, mm, that's probably not going to matter. Just do it. Cut it out. Outline it. Trace it so it's there. So you have it as reference. Um, I always say if, it, if you don't think it matters, it does. Because that's what, that's what makes it look, you know, that's what makes it look like that person or, or that angle or however... You know the shadow or just uh like this little part here you know if you didn't have that you wouldn't know that that eye came to a point right here um i've learned that even if even if it's subtle stuff like a highlight or a low light or a shadow just do it just just lightly start it and if you don't like it you don't have to you don't have to complete it. You don't have to fill it in. And that's the good thing about airbrush too, is it's very forgiving. It's, you, you start with the white canvas and you make it darker. Um, but that's if you have drawn on it. <laughs> Unless you do this uh, stencil very light, um, so it's not super dark and, you know, all detailed. I would, uh, so how is this going to go? I think I'll just do this. Just start out light. That's what I always say. You can you can always get darker. It's like it's like resin. You can add more, you can't take it out. Um What is this part? I'll, I'll just go here. Where did, where did she take those guys out? I wish she would just wait. And I feel bad because I'm not reading. I'm sure you guys are talking about something. Um, and if you notice, uh, the pictures that I've been using are all in black and white. 
Um, you can turn up the contrast to, to get a little bit more detail, to get the darker parts dark. Um, whatever helps you. Whatever, whatever helps you see um, the main the main details. If you like it in color, do it in color. You don't have to do it in black and white. That's just what I've done for so many years. So that's what I enjoy doing. It's funny because I think this eyeball is just on the edge of the eyelid. So I'm I'm gonna make this really thin right here so that it's not defined. I don't I'm not, try not to make it round like perfect. separated those eyelashes not good all right so I have all this main stuff cut out let's see here I'd rather have Jeff's eyes on me yeah well <laughs> why is that picture oh this one here that's a, a painting I did of uh, Rosario I want to say Rosario Dawson, is that her name? Um, it's uh, it just it's one of my first right before I started to try to use paintbrush um, to do shadows, like to to do definition with paintbrush. Um, and uh, it looks better upside down than it does right side up. That's another thing that you can do. Um, if you're drawing a portrait and you're kind of like, what, what, what is off about this? Turn your reference and turn your, your, your drawing upside down and just look, just look at one, look at the other, look at one, look at the other. And, and it, for some reason in your head, it's not a, it's not a portrait, it's a piece of art and you'll be able to see a little bit easier what is wrong. I never understood how it works, but it does. Um, anything, you know, anything. You're drawing a motorcycle or a, you know, anything. A car, a mountain, whatever. Turn it upside down and it'll kind of like show itself like somehow. I'm not sure how that works, but sometimes it works out. All right, so. This is going to be, this is a little bit bigger one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, I really wish this was on a smaller. So, face, chin is here. I wish this was on something smaller. Let's see if I get this one. That might be a little bit better. See, that way I can do, look at that. That way I can do just a hint of hair. Ooh, and it comes right here off the side. The chin. This might be something that I could do. Maybe I'll use this. Let's 
Let's spray this. For some reason I have sticky on this. I'm gonna paint this white real quick. You gotta love spray jets though. He dries nice and fast. Alright, what are you guys saying? Well thanks, Nene. Uh, Rusty, I don't think Vamp is Asian. Been on your phone this entire time. Yeah. Is it ready for me to ink? I'm doing this one. I don't want to do that. It's such a big surface. You're putting this whole face on a little round? Yeah. Because. Oh, thanks, Sandra. We really do try to take the time to teach, and we get a lot of flack from people because they don't like long videos, but I feel like if I time lapsed everything, you guys wouldn't get to ask questions and see true demos. Bam wants to know what's just reason for going smaller. Did I miss? Because I want to put, I want to put this, I want to put just hints of it on here. And with, and with that big piece, it's just, it, it'll be floating and I want it to come from end to end. Everybody wanted to meet the dogs of the month, which would be our puppy. Mm. That's true, Ocean. Mm. 
Vamp. Hey, Rusty. So is it right when you eek? Or are you going to do another coat? It'll be fine. Can we cut it up anyways? Mm -hmm. All I see is y'all. Do you see... You mean on the screen? But really, what does your shirt say? It says... I'll type it. Well, I'll type an edited version. Say the bad words, so. Nancy says, hey Jeff, you should see what I'm doing with the face I cut out. Didn't want to throw it out, lol. Oh, that's awesome. It's almost time to eat. I think we decided for this face so weird because it looks like there's a hole in it. Well, there is a hole in it, but that she was like the photo was taken with an open. Man, this is rough. Like, what in all? Like, why? You yeah, might have to do that know. one. What? But why is this board so color. rough? But we always do that, right? We always just spray it on. Uh, I do a layer of. Let's, well, this is 220, so hopefully this will thin it out. Oh, yeah, that worked. Yeah. But to really make sure I want to do it on here, I think I'm going to spray that first on here. Spray what? The face okay. just to see. I don't know though. So that was 220. Now this is a 400. You can hear, you can hear the difference. Ocean said the boys were in um, Hawaii. They played a preseason game versus yeah. the Rams there. Yeah. Let me do that. Did she go see him? Did you go, Ocean? Hi, Gail. We are great. I hope you are too. Um, did I find a new home for all of us yet? The whole ATD familia. Um, no, not yet. But we're supposed to be going again with our real estater. His name's TJ Frank, and he um, makes amazing parfaits. Um, in the next couple of days, we're supposed to go again. And check on houses. I really need, I really need to have the money to build one, but that's not gonna happen. So, meantime, we're just gonna have to find one that's already in existence. Hi, Kathy. Sorry, don't hate me, but I'm not a Cowgirls fan. You don't have to be. You do have to be an Alabama fan, but you don't have to be a Cowboy fan. All right, Heather, don't make me block you. You want to start? You want to? You're probably a Phillies fan, huh? <laughs> the Sheagles? Is that what? Is that what you're a fan of? Hey, Doris. Don says, I'm so excited to move in. Can't wait for our new place soon. She said, oh, hell no. Uh, it sounds like it. Saints. I mean, Ingram got drafted there, so I mean, I guess that's okay. Hi, Christy. 
So you're not just cutting out a single line on the surrounding face, you're cutting out like, like an eighth inch little yeah. gap. Yeah. Just enough to get a... They kick the ram's boots. It's always good when they kick boote. What were we saying? Ooh, none. So, I'm trying to pre-record a lot of interesting videos for you guys before we head out on Jeff's vacation. See, that is so, there's so much room here. Like, I can end this. I can end that so that they're just not abrupt. Yeah. And the hair goes right here, off to here. Like I can cut it to here. here. Like that's perfect. I'm just gonna spray this just to see what it looks like. Um. I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, I'm trying to figure out a whole bunch of interesting things to pre-record for you guys. So if you have any suggestions, shoot me an email, tag me in something on Facebook that you've seen that's interesting, or comment down below because we read everything and try to answer everything. And so I want to know what you guys want to see. I don't want to just paint what I want to paint because I'll spend an entire week working on one piece, so I need suggestions. So we just, it's on my mouth. It's in my mouth. So dramatic. Whatever. Um, he just sprayed this Super 77 Scotch. It's a spray adhesive. Any spray adhesive will work, but don't just like and drench it. You want to just mist it on because we want this to come up as soon as we get our shapes down. Kathy, we use Montana gold, nope, Montana black metallic gold. The series is black, it's in a black can, but the cap is shiny gold. If I had a can over here, I would show you. Would love to see you work on a more long-term piece. I'm, well, I'm editing down a video of my seven-month geode table. been a process of just finding it. Right I'll now. show you guys how light, like it might not look like I'm really putting any paint down, but since it's a stencil, you know, it, it, there's definitely paint going in here. And like I said, this one, this is a kind that you can do that you can, you know, make it a little darker and bigger and, you know, you're not committed to such hard lines. And it looks cool. Judy! Thank you, JJ. Oh, man, this is going to be fun. And that's another reason you don't want to put down too much spray adhesive. Too much spray adhesive because it'll tear the little bitty uh, the parts that you want to stay together. Remember, just take it off nice and easy because you, you're, you're going to want to reuse this, I'm sure, if you like how it turns out. See, look how fun that is, which I'm not a fan of that. It's fun, but I 
guess because it's just a stencil, so it's like, hmm. I don't know. So apparently Christina Walsh's live auction was just raided by 15 armed police. Someone pranked them. Who? Christina Walsh, she's in here all the time. She was doing a live art auction thing, but someone called the... Y'all don't get any ideas? Because I would be right. real pissed. I'm sure. People do that to live streamers. That's horrible. I can't even imagine. The pups would be so scared. Hmm. I feel bad for Christina. So I use the Deco Craft for my stones. And Crystal Kelly is amazing. She has amazing quality stones and she ships like super fast. It is illegal to call in a false police report, but some people call anonymously, so. But you should be able to tell where the call came from. Right, they know where, where calls come from. The whole video was full, I'm sure. I feel so sorry for, I wish I had her number, I would text her. They wouldn't even let her turn off the recording, but it's been pulled now. Bye, Kathy. Thanks for tuning in. Hmm. I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like... And I do this all the time. I, I'm, I, obviously, I'm not even anywhere near finished but I get I get very irritated with if it doesn't look right <laughs> even if I just do a little bit of the stencil Dora says that scares me I'm gonna do my first auction this Saturday Don't be nervous about it. You can't let things that happen stop you from doing what you would have wanted to do. Like all these shootings and things are completely horrible, but if you get paralyzed by the fear of something maybe happening, then you really waste your life not doing things that you would have wanted to do. And it's horrible that that has to even be a discussion nowadays, but then the crazy people win. You know, like, when Judy typed that in, it made me nervous, and I was like, I'm not down for that. Hmm. Let's ax the feed, but I can't let people's random acts of insanity keep me from doing my life, you know? And I don't think anybody should. But that's just me, you know? I hope they catch him too. Oh, they will. I mean, it's, everything is so, like, you know that they can do that. I mean, everybody gets caught, especially if they're, if it's an online thing, if it's a phone thing, everything can be traced. So, um, the cops have to do what they have to do, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry, and if they get some call about, like, any number of horrible things, they have to go in and investigate, you know? I wouldn't, and as I'm sure Christina isn't blaming the officers for doing their job, it's their job. But then there are dicks out there, so. 
Um, maybe sending personal invites would be better than an open announcement for several days ahead. That's not a bad idea. I mean, she's not in there, but Doris, if you want to do like an unlisted live for your auction, just post the announcement in like ATD fam. I don't mind. That way you're not risking randos popping in and doing these absurd things. I probably won't be unlisting my live videos simply because that would be me altering what I would have been doing in my life anyway, so. Mm. No, I shouldn't do any, I, sh I, I shouldn't do any of this if we're going to put any I'm, I'm on here. waiting on you to let me ink. I hope she's okay too. That's true, Diane. If, I mean, if you're going to be doing a live art auction, then call into your local PD and be like, this is a problem nowadays on YouTube. Just so you know, if you want to know what I'm up to, tune into my live mm -hmm. instead of busting my door down. I don't know. Hey, Kim. All right. Let's see what alcohol ink looks like on this one. And if I like it, I'll finish it. If not, we'll we'll do alcohol ink on the bigger one. Um, and stencil it. Could probably just make this one more pop arty, maybe. Um, I'll sell this if anybody's interested in it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do any airbrush to it, but uh, we'll see how this uh, alcohol ink turns out. You would think they would target the bigger channel. I mean, the students have a lot of studs, though. But I guess a lot of the really big channels don't go live that often. But who would pick on sweet little Christina? Just a jerk troll, I suppose. Looks great. I already like it. Looks like I missed something important. What's up, cats? So, Misty, just to let them know that, well, I guess anytime you go live, you can call. It may not hurt to call them and just let them know that I'm going live and people are doing this to live artists. And if you, I, I guess, just not just for an auction, but for any live video you do in general. Are you still cool with purple and teal? Yeah, but remember, I want it to be like washed out. Okay. Let's just, let's just stick with the purple. Will you read the things? Uh, terrible. I'm going to go with uh, um, teals and purples. Well, she's going to do it, but I, I want just teals and purples on this particular one. Because I know the gold would look amazing with it. You look at First things first, since he wants it super washed out, I'm going to drench in alcohol. This is 91%. 
isopropyl alcohol. You guys can see. It's a little bit of everywhere on there. Is this? I don't know. The alcohol must be reacting to the paint. Is that a? It's acrylic. Let's see. This won't. This is just a test, though. It's too dark. I'll stick to two colors. Yeah, that's my bunny. Thanks, JJ. Amazon. You get ours from Amazon. Anyone seen Jen since her super serious storm? She's having really bad storms in her area. Maybe put more ink on it and swirl it. I don't know. I think so. I think I. Maybe I do. Maybe I want it a little darker. I just wanted to see like what it really washed out. I just feel like if you're gonna like spritz gold on it again, it kind of needs to be darker so it stands out under the honeycombs. 
You going? Yeah. Yeah, but if I just drop ink onto it, then it'll stain where it's at. I have to. I tried to set a big piece on fire and almost set the whole house on fire one time. Be micromanaging my out callings. It'll look great. I'm done with it. I think it's not as vibrant as it probably would be because we didn't do the house paint first as well. I think some of it's seeping, seeping through. There, I was like super concerned that the um, stencil was going to go away, huh?
We're just trying to darken the the original stencil. Yeah, I'm just gonna gonna see what I can just uh, make it solid. I want to see what it looks like solid. The other one was. Spray adhesive again. Erica, read my text above, please. Somebody's text above, which I don't know. Um, sure, Don, that's fine. Oh, is this a Seems to be a lot of rainstorms out right now. That looks creepy and like. No, I don't know that shit. Thank you, Missy. I like those colors too. Bam, she's great. Crystal Kelly is amazing. Send her a message and she may throw in some like bonus stuff you said you know me and artist till death. She's like, she looks very like fairy and ethereal. You can take it off the caps. Your hat is way in the way when you look down. What do you think? She looks like Disney princessy. Thank you, Patrick. Folks at home, make sure you seal in with flat white interior water-based house paint. Sand it with 22400, then do spray gesso just to seal it in. Um, before you paint on it, I need to feel it. Yes. So you do that title. I have a camera with me. Yeah. All right, you guys. Um, this is UV archival matte finish. Don't use any glossy finish because it's got alcohol or something in it that reactivates. Mm. Yeah, this is bad. Gosh.
Thanks, Kata. Now I get the stencil why you cut out and where you cut out and why you cut out and also cut out. Diane, I've had to cut many a resin out of my hair. Sandra, send me a picture of her stuff so I can um, see if I can see what she does. Love this art of yours, Jeff from Rusty. So, thank you, Jen. Apparently, some absurd person called in something to the police, and they like raided her auction. It was insane. What color was that marker? It's light blue. Yes, Jen Germs. smudged it. Luckily you can't see that. No. All right. Yep. Jen, I'm sure when the police were called, they didn't tell them that she was doing art things. I'm sure she did. She got, what got called in was something completely atrocious and untrue, but police have to investigate everything. So they did. And it's actually pretty common right now, unfortunately, this craziness with I think it's actually called swatting. I hope so, cats. Anne asks, this may have already been answered or done in a video, but I was wondering if this AI piece had been resined, could you do a stencil piece on the resin and another layer of resin? You sure could, Anne. Ginger, we've done that too. Yeah, it is super dangerous. Patrick, you can. You can ink directly onto resin. I will suggest that um, it's on a board and resin instead of a canvas and resin because heating set resin on canvas canvas will make the resin contract or stretch out or whatever but it makes the surface of your piece kind of bubble up not as bad as yuko paper but 
there's no, I mean, it'll go back down when it cools, but there's no warping at all with um, like a board. Swatting means when you call the police or a SWAT team or some authority person and let them know there's some threat going on at the address. Or just illegal activity. Of a person, or just illegal activity. Something that they would come in with their, like, guns drawn. And it's only on live feed so that um, Man, I the people that are watching can see some craziness happen live. And completely ruin someone's feed. Your hat's in the way. Also, you would think they'd have to know her address. Like, how would they? It's hackers, man. Shenanigans. Aw, oh, thanks, JJ. Of course, Patrick. What kind of pencil is that? Just a regular old charcoal. If Charles wanted to buy something, they would have the address. That is a good point. Well, Diane, they may not know that there is a live feed or whose channel to check before raiding someplace. Like if some person calls the police and says this is the address and they're doing X, Y, and Z crazy thing and the police, you know, obviously are going to go check it out, they may not even know that there is anybody streaming there or where to check to see if they're streaming. I'm sure it did scare her to death. I'm sure she's getting a million messages, but I just not distracted. So if you did Aon type of resin, you sprayed it with the varnish, do you need to worry about the varnish making makes on the resin layer? Oh, making marks. Um, I would then still top coat it and with resin. That way, if there is any marks or haziness left from the varnish, which there probably would be since it's matte over, you know, glossy resin and alcohol ink, um, just do a clear layer of resin and it'll fade that out. I hope so too, Kim. That's true, cats. It would be cats, but I mean, if anybody ordered from our shop, they would have our location, you know. Did you do this charcoal-y part on the other one? Uh, I don't think so. I'm just, I just want to get this detail in and see what it's going to look like. That would be even crappier of somebody, Diane, if it was someone she knows or a family member. Are there any colors that are hard to use with resin? Tara, when you say colors, are you asking about actual colors? Colors like red, blue, green, 
or are you asking if there are any types of paint that are hard to use with resin? Thank you, Doris. We really need to mount this overhead on a table. I mean, on not the table. Is it moving? Mm -hmm. It's swaying a little bit. I just I don't I don't feel like getting the airbrush out <laughs> which I most likely will just so I can darken these eyes and get rid of these hard edges and then do some shadow in here in the in the eyes mm -hmm. well, I would definitely be freaking out and she's the sweetest lady That is my charcoal pencil. Okay. Okay. It just hurt. I know God. the people on the thing aren't. Um, remove the address and reset. Well, cats, people come over to buy paint all the time. I can't just remove the address. It'd be easier if I had, like, a second shop. But... This one? Oh, I can use that one. I guess I just um, wanted to use my own. What about those? Here, right here. Um, I'm gonna say something. Oh yeah. One day we'll have a separate shop and studio from our home, but till then. It is what it is. And since we do he pick up from like our place, I don't think I can have the P.O. box as the return address since they pick up from my place. The stone and just ring matches her eyes. It does. I didn't even notice that. Uh, this is a little bit more turquoisey. This is a little light blue. But yeah, it does. On film, it does. Or on camera. Agree, baby cakes. Dora says, lay fingernails on the chalkboard. LOL. Of course, Judy. So, Tara, any color will work well in resin. It usually depends on what you pair certain colors with. Example, I do not work well with yellows. But if you pair it with the right, like I wouldn't pair it with... Um, well, there's plenty of colors I wouldn't pair yellow with, but lately I did a couple of successful yellows. I need my uh, pencil sharpener. It's right behind the thing there. So and it all depends on what you pair it with. So Jen says, what do y'all typically charge for a piece like this using a portrait? A portrait of someone's face in particular? Like if JJ wanted another one, but with his face on it? Probably done. Ah, I see. My go to color is dark turquoise, and that goes with almost anything. There's 
there's no way for that not to make that noise. No, I'm, I, I don't know what you want me to do. I'm just asking. It's... <sighs> I mean, it's just a pencil. Just charcoal is just... I don't want to cooperate like that. Yeah. Um. So, B, how much would you charge to do a portrait on an alcohol ink piece like this? Um, I, I really don't do, like, commission portraits with something like this, unless I really like the photograph. Uh, that's why I like doing these kind of things is just kind of, I'm just painting as I'm painting. It doesn't have to look like somebody. It doesn't have to be, you know, particularly of some, of something. And, um, but if I do like the photo, um, I start at 475 for a 16 by 20. What about on a round? 475. So Bowie was just turning his head at the sound. This is what I love about charcoal is that you can make a hard line on these on anywhere, on anything. Um, and 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 wipe it and it'll it'll blend, it'll go away. You can take an eraser and erase it. And it can be a hard erase line, and then just blend it back in if 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 uh, if you feel like it. That's what I love about this charcoal stuff, man. It's such a it's so forgiving. Um, you can't do that with airbrush, that's for sure. For sure. Shadowing. Yeah, I'll get the airbrush out and do a little bit more, but um, just to define areas. I really don't want to do that with this nose, though. I'm just going to barely get this nose defined here because you can really mess up a nose easily if you don't have all the right points shadowed out, I guess you could call that. <laughs> And I just wanted to hint, like, this is one of those, one of those times when I said I just want just a hint of everything, and I'm doing way more than just a hint. But then again, that's what makes these look so, uh, so much fun, is you just put a little bit of detail in it, and it comes to life. When you use charcoal and then resin, do you have to seal the charcoal before? Um, I probably will, just to be sure. Um, Kathy, I think Judy has a makeup airbrush. I don't know if that's the same size. Jill, are you on her live when it happened? So I seal alcohol inks and we'll be sealing this charcoal with the UV archival varnish by Krylon in matte. Number 1378. <coughs> yeah, it is horrible. It's super crappy that it happens to people, especially someone so nice as 
Christina. Thanks, Pamela. <clears throat> It's amazing how just a little bit of shadow brings mm -hmm. a face out. Yeah, and, and that's why I'm trying to do it with, with charcoal, just to show people that you don't have to have an airbrush. Charcoal is so forgiving that, like I said, you can you can put it down and you erase it. You know, you can erase it with a hard eraser. You can get a kneaded eraser, which I normally have, which I don't know where it is. <clears throat> it happened right after y'all went live because I was watching her until y'all came on. I promise where we didn't have anything to do with it. See, look at that. Like, you can just erase. Is that pulling ink? Mm mm. Okay. What? No. Just erasing the. Thank you, Sandra. Sounds good, Jen. They're starting to come in, Jen. And it's funny because, you know, if you don't have a defying lipstick on, when the lips meet right here, there's no line and a lot of people will draw a hard line if you can see this it's it's rounded and it goes up into the mouth the crease is right here that where it stops and then you got like a little divot i like to put that little divot in there and don't don't make that hard line right there just barely give it a little bit of a definition and that's one of those things where you think ah, it doesn't really matter it 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 matters put a little shadow right here because it's it's rounded it's not a it's not a line it's not a crease and like i said i'm i'm no professional i don't claim to be i'm not i don't claim to be an art teacher i just love to do this and this is what has worked for me and is you know I, i'm continuing to learn and experiment with how I do everything now, like how I apply stuff, when I apply stuff. Um, I used to do every single thing with airbrush and I, I just got burnt out. It just, it started to become stale to me and, and uh, using paintbrush and pencil and charcoal and erasers and it's, it's been it's almost livened it up for me like it's like right after I met Erica that's when it all started to happen like she kind of got me out of an artist funk mm -hmm. and I know I'm still a little testy but what are you going to do The lost edges are what really makes it. Susan said, did I just hear Jeff say he is no professional? He is literally the definition of professional. Well, meaning that I don't, I'm not saying this is how you're supposed to do it. He's not saying, okay, what he's saying is he's not the authority on any of the techniques that we use. We just show you what how I learned to do it myself and stuff that I don't I don't like to do if if uh, if it didn't work out and some people do and some people work for you know some, some do I never well, never was a fan of, of art lessons or art schools or um, my art teacher in high school, fortunately, just let me do what I wanted. <laughs> he was super nice. His name was Stephen Sell. 
He lives in uh, Wichita, Kansas. Actually, I think he lives outside of Wichita, Kansas. I think he lives... Uh, just outside Wichita. He was a track coach. And he was an art teacher. He's one of those teachers where you tested him to see if you can call him by his first name. He'd let you do it a couple times and then he would just start shaking and said no, like, mm -mm, that's not going to, we're not going to do that this year. And he would let me do extra credit stuff because I hated, <laughs> I hated to do like, which I wish I would have paid attention to. Um, wish I would have paid attention to art history. I'm going to see if I can find it for you, Patrick, and just link it direct for the exact um, item. One second. I don't know if I like that. One beat. Okay. Found it. All right, I'm going to link you directly to exact products. There you go. And see, I wouldn't be able to do that if this wasn't a live feed. Oh, there's the airbrush. Hey, Jacqueline. Thank you so much. Y'all, Christina Welch is in here. She said she's safe and everything's good. That it was scary, but everything's good now. It's super crappy, and if I knew who they were, I would sprinkle Legos all over their house for them to step on in the middle of the night. Sprinkle Legos. Have you ever stepped on a Lego? When was the last time you had to step on a Lego? The last time I had to step on a Lego? Yeah. Why? First of all, I used to play with Legos like nobody's business, but have you ever stepped on a Lego? Yeah. This is not a good time. Jeff airbrushes, he does this exact warm up every time. And if I he just, does a lot of time, he does a lot more than this. Year. I just want to get my hand like I guess he I guess warmed up, but I just if you just start in and you you haven't you know you haven't you know your your finger does get you know, irritated and your hand starts to cramp up and and if you start something without doing this, just lightly kind of practice, like it, it, it kind of eases into it. So it's not so bad, but if you just start painting, from what I from my experience it just gets worse and then you start to rush and you start to cut corners and just take a little time and, and, and get a little practice little little warm up in. No matter what it is. Twenty police officers storming our house is pretty scary, but we knew we didn't do anything wrong. Girl, you don't have to do anything wrong. If there's a cop behind me, if there's a cop two cars behind me, I don't do anything wrong. Not that the police would care about. Like I've got to clean this airbrush out. Look how sputtery. I know, babe. But you don't have to do anything wrong to get all weirded out if a cop's like standing next to you. You don't even have to have a guilty conscience about anything. They just make some people nervous. 
I am one of those people. Like, if I got pulled over standing here right now, pulled over, I would be like, I'm going to jail for profanity on my shirt. Lewd and lascivious behavior and contributing to the delinquency of YouTube minors or something. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to get walked up abroad. Judy, are you still in? Cat is asking. Barbie doll feet and jacks are also horrible things to step on in the middle of the night or any other time of the day. What um, do you need, I need a couple. I need a stencil from over here. Anywhere in particular? That one. <clears throat> Night, Tara. I have a few. They parked a mile away, so we didn't see them coming. That is extra. So after they were done realizing that you weren't, like, harboring fugitives or having like underground poker nights for millions of dollars and printing fake money and all that. What was the conversation like? Were you like, what, what did they like call Thanks for in? not shooting first and ask questions later. Right. What did they like say that they were called to investigate at your house? Or is that like confidential? Thank you, Vanyam. Well, these little hacker things, people don't really care about being hacker. Um, Ocean loves the template. Dom's loving it. Thank you. Dan wants to know if Christina was hoping that it was 20 strippers rather than actual officers. They probably had their guns out. Not these guns, but like, pew pew. Susan. Someone called and said, that Alan shot her and was holding my two sons hostage and that he was going to shoot the first officer on the property. Wow, that's wow. like serious, like, that's some hate stuff right there. What in that's the like heck? That's like domestic terrorist stuff. I'm so sorry, Christina. I'm sure they were like extra guns blazed for that. See y'all, these templates help so much with just like very subtle areas like this underneath this nose shadow right here. See, all I gotta do is just barely hit it and it'll, it'll give me some dark little shadows, give me a little line there so I'm not going above that. Jeff needs to sell these stencils. We we're actually thinking about selling stencils on our website. I know the pattern stencils like the hexagons, but do you guys think that you'd be interested in these blob stencils? Well, that's well, it. If you guys, and, and you can use these. I watched this guy on YouTube. I wish I could remember his name. He does these humongous, uh, he wets his paper. So I guess that it, shrinks a little or fl he fl he, to flatten it he wets it and then he uses just really dark super gnarly uh what do you call it uh, charcoal like lead like like charcoal graphite. graphite and he uses these to to do stuff like this or to do a very hard angle you know so he's sitting there with he'll he'll put the lead down like he uses like powder and he uses like, you know, stick, stick stuff. And he'll do that really like a, a real hard edge and he moves it and puts it over and does a very hard edge like to, 
you know, like if the background of an arm is is completely pitch black because this stuff is very dark, very shadowed, very contrast. And he uses the angle of, you know, his his arm. He doesn't have to mask it off because he's using charcoal. You can't really mask it off because um, the charcoal will get underneath it. It won't stick. So if you use a hand stencil, you have more control over it. Let's see here. In any case, Christina. Yeah, so like let's say you're doing, sorry, you're doing this here and you just want a little bit of uh, a hard edge. So you do, just put that stencil on there. And I'll put it right here if you don't want it in the inside of there. Hmm? That's it. Hmm. You really can't tell on that one though. But does Jeff buy the stencils or make them? I make them. I I draw them out on. Uh, I just tried to do this. I drew it out on on uh, AI. What is it? Adobe Illustrator, mm -hmm. and then took it up and cut them out on the laser. And it works beautifully. Like you really have to set that laser at a low uh, temperature and um, faster, so that it cuts super fast. It's not burning the burning your. I mean, you can see kind of where it pops when it hits the uh, metal grid, because it cuts this way. But it works nicely. I'm sure it'll be intimidating a little bit for Christina to go live in the future, but I hope that she's not deterred because she shouldn't not do what she wants to do because of fear. There, that's no way to live, and I refuse to not do things because of fear of someone else's actions. And while I can absolutely understand if she's going to take a break from life for a little while just to like get her like headspace regular because it's got to be absolutely terrifying having like 20 guns at your face but um I support whatever she wants to do and if she needs like a hug or someone to support her going live or I don't know I, whatever she needs to continue on with her videos in the exact way that she was going to do them had this thing not happened to her today I'm in all full support of put them on the website and I'll buy some folks show Jeff is the master of eyes thank you Christina Diane I want that Jack. Diane, are you talking about the painting or the stencil? Um, Don wants to know if it's regular paper or cover stock template. For for what? This is just poster board. Um, this is a very this is a flimsier poster board. This is a cheaper poster board. Um, the one way. yeah the ones I'm I'm gonna make are it's not like a typical poster board, so it's a little bit more uh, expensive. It's uh, I guess you could say it would soak up a little bit better too because it's a little thicker. Um, this is pretty smooth, so if you're if you're using spray paint with this, this will, you know, this will this will get warped pretty quick. Um, but uh, yeah, the ones that I'll be selling will definitely be a, a little bit thicker and a little more sturdy. And I'll show you the other ones that I made. These, this is good for eyes, um, and you know the bridge part, your 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 eyelid, your eyebrows, your you know the inside of the the eye part here, like this particular shapes. Um, I made quite a few, like stuff like this. Let me take a little quick break. Um, is good for. Uh, like if you're doing some hair, like if you're doing a jawline, you can shadow that off. You can taper this off right here. Um, it's good for 
you know, tapering, if you want to get a good edge for your arm, like it's, it's, you just, you can make them all different. Like, see, that's a little bit more. If you have a, more of a hairline here that you, you know, it's a little bit wider. Um, maybe like uh, your waist or even more a little straighter arm here. Whatever. Um, let's see here. This one is good for like the nose. This is one I designed for um, all parts of noses because there's like it's so subtle. All these little parts are subtle. It's all like the inside of the nose. We can just spray right there. These little subtle parts up here. Um, you could use this probably for the lips as well, but there's a lot. I don't know. Maybe highlights and whatnot. Um, I did one for fingers. I don't know if I have that one. This is another good one for eyes, um, just for the rounded stuff here in the corners. I think one of these was. So are you selling them or not? Okay, so are yes. they going to be available in your store? <laughs> are they available yet right now? No. Like that's, it's a solid feed of why aren't, I can't find them. Because I just made these and I just, I'm just, we got to. When can we expect them in the store? Um, I don't know. What is today? Sunday. Can you print a bunch of them out tomorrow? I do need some clear rounds and cloth rounds for the store. Like, I'm oversold by three. I don't know why. Science? See, look at that. This little guy is perfect for this little nose shadow right here. I don't want any paint going on that on the outside. I just want it to stay inside nostril. Boom, that is perfect. Inside nostril. Um, so Christina, we actually are going to take the sheet of poster board up to Makerspace and since you did these last ones on that machine just to test it. Now we know that it works, and we're just going to cut them and just go up there for half a day and just mass produce a bunch of these stuff. Probably fill up the store as much as we can before we leave on the 23rd. We're going to go ahead and go down to Austin. Jeff's son, Austin, will be here putting out orders while we are out of town, so I have no fear if you guys will get as many as we can up until the second leave, but after that, and maybe will be with us, we'll be still answering emails from the fifth because we never don't work. Um, and we will still have a video posted every day, just as huge. But Austin will be here to send orders out should anybody order anything while we're out of town. So just let me know. I am, Cass. I have one more thing I want to test before the debut. Same thing, cake. So, the laser cutter has to have very specific plastic to not kill everybody when it gets cut um, because we tried it with a very thin plastic from our acrylic clear provider, but there was like some chlorine chemical in it that started like degassing and so we had to abort it makes emission. chlorine like that's what it makes a chlorine gas it was going to kill everybody in the club so we had to abort that mission and so we just tested it on poster board so for now we're going to make these available and then moving forward if we find a thin plastic um to make available then we'll do that thing is it has to be bendable because Jeff often will like curve it and move it so he can use just this one instead of just this one so it can't be a rigid sheet of plastic it has to be bendy bendable um turn your hat around Jeff please oh am I 
getting in the way. Uh, Ocean wants to know how you clean your airbrush. Uh, with water and sometimes a little Windex. I'm not sure. Would silicone work for the stencils? Silicone? You mean like how molds are? Why wouldn't it work? It'd be really expensive. Silicone is crazy expensive. Also, it's not that durable. For the, stencils? The compound breaks over time. Also, while we need it to be floppy a little bit, it still needs to be able to be rigid because he often will work vertical. We're pretty horizontal right now just for filming purposes. So when he paints regularly, it's at like, I feel very much. His angle is usually like this much. So if it were it's a up, thin- like up on an easel. If it were a thin sheet of silicone, it would just flop back. Hat. It would just flop back in this space. Oh, it's good to have this. Christina says I'm getting lectured by my son about going live. He said next could be a home invasion. Is he trying to scare me or what? There are so many risks as a part of life, I feel like, and this is just my opinion, and everyone's life trajectory is different from your own um, experiences, but you could get in a wreck, God forbid, next time you get in your car. You could break away going down a set of stairs. You can't, for me, just not live because of the risk of someone interrupting what I'm doing. Then you are agoraphobic and a hermit and just in a bubble. And to me, that's not worth life. You shouldn't, for me, waste your life being afraid of what ifs. Can't do it. So while it's true, that could happen is the risk worth not doing what you want to do for me i'd rather just do what i want to do and if something happens then it happens i've got to get a new needle knock on wood hopefully nothing happens you know so it's Hi, Lisa. We're still live. I'm not used to painting down like this. Like, I need, I, I, I need to have like. <sighs> this is like awkward right, to get this super detail in these eyes. I, I always uh, hold my airbrush like this when I'm doing something like this, and I can't because it's Do you down. Want me to hold it up? No, that would not work. Um. And your son, he's your son, he loves you. Of course he's gonna be worried that something more serious could happen next time, but you sound like sweet southern ladies just like myself and we're just not gonna be intimidated by what if. You really can't control everything you gotta just deal with. She said that even her neighbors didn't know what happened. That's how sneaky the police were. I guess until, did they break your door? Did they break your door? I know, can't just keep just the positive attitude. I feel like 
it's our job as YouTubers to stay positive and inspire positivity instead of letting these clowns. Babe, you're just inviting people. <laughs> no, people are continuing the conversation, and I feel like what, that's what people want to talk about. And in between our questions, why not fill the dead airspace with inspirational things? <gasps> I thought you said that your airbrush was sputtering. It has a good air. It was unlocked. Okay, good. It's locked now. I'm not sure. I'm glad it was unlocked because if they Googled their handle and it was locked, they probably would have used the little heave ho log thing. Do a buster. I don't know the word. But your door's intact, so it's cool. Look at that. I'm, this is how much I need to clean my airbrush because of this little crease I'm getting. Oh, my finger. Um, like it's like indented. Yeah, you can see the bottom of it. Yeah. So, no more talk about drama. No drama llamas in the house. He's over there. I think that's pretty good Russian over there. That teal over the purple makes always the most beautiful color. Do you always airbrush off of a reference? I do. Um, if I'm if I'm using a photo that I like, I you always want to look at the reference. I mean, always. You you want to make sure you get everything right, especially if it's supposed to be somebody. Is that a regular color pencil? This is a Prismacolor. I like I like these Prismacolors. A lot of people that do um, like colored pencil stuff, they 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 probably prefer the more expensive ones. I don't. I never really had any expensive ones, so I, I can't say that I, I like any one better. But I've always liked these because they blend really well, and I can draw on top of stuff like this. You it know, stands it's out such a little hint. So well already. So Dora says, Windex works good for cleaning the airbrush? Yeah. Hmm, I may get some. That's the only thing keeping me from doing this is I have no cleaner yet. Right after that, Ocean said, how do you clean your airbrush? Did you say acetone or lacquer thinner? N neither. That will destroy your airbrush. Acetone? I don't, I don't know. I just use, um, I just use Windex or, they do have airbrush cleaner, but that stuff is really like, powerful it's stout um it's so, stout. so if you do use that use it in you know in an open area and open your window and it would definitely do that um but it works it, it cleans out the airbrush really well that airbrush cleaner that comes with some airbrushes or with some paint kits it is so strong like it tickles the back of my throat much like yeah it's, that's it's it's so it's bad. very strong so just make sure you have an open window or a draft I'm sure uh, you could updraft run thing uh, but he just uses windex how much for this piece asking for a friend um this piece will i don't i don't know yet i don't know what I think I'm going to put a little bit more lines in here and 
Let him get further along before he evaluates it for price. Um, mylar might be a good template material around four millimeters. Yeah, that's that's pretty thin. Um, and you can just cut that with Exacto blade. I think I'm I, I'm I think if uh, if that's the uh, the thickness I'm thinking of. I haven't used that stuff in a while, so I'm I'm not I'm not sure. Um, we will get some of that and try it out. Some people on YouTube clean it often after each color with just water and mild detergent. Yeah. Jeff I mean, cleans it out with like this spritzer and water after each color. I mean, you have to or else it'll... <laughs> it'll muddy up in between colors. That's all you use yeah. in between colors. But when you like take it apart and clean it, which I guess you should do like once... It depends on how often you use it. Yeah. Baby Cake says, it looks awesome so far. I agree, it needs more lines. Lines. Correction. OMG, more lines. Darn, autocorrect. She didn't say darn. But I can't say the real one. You can't say the real one? No, I can't. Family friendly show. I guess it is 10 o'clock, so. It's 10 o'clock right now? Yep. Wow. After each spraying session for the day. Bye, Ocean. Have a great dinner. Thank you so much for tuning in. I can't wait till you get your artwork and presents. Diane's loving this piece. No worries, baby cakes. I think keeping everyone um, on their toes. That highlight just makes a piece, in my opinion. Misty says she cleans hers after every use with alcohol slash Windex and water. Yeah, I've used alcohol. I just, I, I don't want to use it too much because I don't know how it is on, on, on the little bushings and, or the, the little, uh, what are they called in there? Not bushings, it's, um... What are those little rings called? You know. The little O-rings. It could be an O-ring. Night, Dawn. Yeah, you do such good highlighting. Mine just looks like... It's just... You have to do it subtle. Like, you just have to really just... Like I say... Wash you, you Yeah, the little... Thanks, y'all. <clears throat> And I could use white um, airbrush paint, but I don't. I don't want this to look too uh, cartoony. She's just standing in a galaxy. Normally, I would just scratch this away, but I don't feel like I want to do that. Y'all, he's so good at knowing where the, like the high points and low points in a face are for like contouring on a portrait. Still want your brush and makeup. I'm just, I don't know. He does makeup on these keys. I don't. I don't do makeup. It's just, it's just shadows. That's all makeup is. Is adding shadows to make your face look not like your face. The eyes look amazing. He always does amazing eyes. That bridge of the nose looks so 3D. It's so that's crazy. I love him and hate him for his talent. What do you want to do for dinner? I have no idea. As usual. Kat says this is the best piece I have ever seen so far. 
Well, thank you. This crap, girl. It is too late. Probably. He makes it look easy. He makes it look so effortless. Why hasn't Jeff tried male eyes? Because they're boring. Right, like what, like why? Uh, unless, unless it's very, um, interesting, like there's this, I've never really seen, you know, that many interesting male eyes. Women's eyes are just more interesting. Pierogies. No worries, Christina. Have a good night. All the love. You can always come see it in person, Kim. Pat says I'll send you some male eyes. Please, no real male eyes. I'm just, I'm just not interested in painting them. You know, it's like it's not. It's just not something I've wanted to do. So now I want to do, and do something with this hair. Mm -hmm. I want to do a very sexy pair of male eyes for my wall, girl. Who could do Johnny Depp from because of the makeup? Johnny Depp does wear a lot of eye makeup. What's it called? Guy liner? Johnny Depp as Captain Sparrow would be a great choice. Sounds good, cats. Oh, Kat has male gray eyes. When you started that line, I'm not sure, but it looks amazing. Kat says, I am mesmerized. JJ says guy liner, that's what it's called. It used to be all about it back in the day. I can see that, JJ. Actually, I've literally seen it because you showed me pictures. See, did you ever get into the guy liner? Nope. He has friends that have. Are, did, were, current, no. None of them still wear guy liner, do they? Cruz, maybe. I know another guy that did too. Mm -hmm. I'll find a picture on um, Cruz's 
He does such amazing work. Baby Cake said, I just realized I'm holding my breath. I do that too sometimes when he's pulling lines. Missy said, Jeff, my husband said the same thing at the same time. No. Sam says, ha ha, Jeff does, in Snapchat. What? And Okay, before you do that, do you need to seal in the charcoal so that it doesn't dull out this gold with the matte spray? Do you need to seal the charcoal in before? I don't, I don't resin? think so because it's airbrushed. Okay. I don't know. You want to put matte spray on it? I just think it'll seal in the charcoal for when we do... I don't remember resining over charcoal and I don't know if it'll... Well, it darkens it. I do know that. It's right there. Absolutely, Ann. Yeah, so things like everything with eyeliner. That's true. Are you done with these? Yeah. I'm gonna get just this one out of the way. Just need to grab some things. Sorry. I grew up in the 60s. We were bralas and makeup less. Hippie jewels. It's making a comeback, girl. Julie says, I'm so old. My son used to do the guy liner. Exactly, Ann. Exactly. Do some. I want to do some of those. Um, Tammy Anderson just messaged me about what happened to Christina. So hypnotic, I agree. You were going to do gold, right? Yeah. But I think I want to do some, some of those hexagons on here, too. The gold hexagons. Do you need me to go get the gold spray paint? I don't know. I feel like I want to do something with this. So just hex the hair. I just know it noticed that you could see the fluid in her eyes. Just amazing. You should sell prints of this one. She looks beautiful, mysterious, and sexy. Uh, same, Diane. Same. Erica, do you send samples of paint? I can't find a good gold. Um, shoot me an email. sure you write in there attention Erica or we talk about it on live or something like that so that Amanda doesn't just respond with nope because it 
it really depends on the colors and what I have in stock and what it is you're looking for. Because typically I don't because I don't make it. So I, if I send a little sample of something, it ruins the entire jar. So I can't sell it. So I'm at a loss at that point. So typically no, just because of reasons that I just said. But if it's something that I already have open in my own personal stock that I use on the channel, then sometimes. Linda says, this is exactly what I imagine that I look like before I see myself in the mirror. He's busy drawing, but that was cute. I finally used that 007 I love it. Isn't it the greatest, Diane? Um, you should really start selling prints. I'm sure it would sell out. We actually do have um, some prints of some things down in the Teespring shop, link down below. But um, I'll see if we can upload some of Jeff's um, portrait art or the hybrid pieces. To that shop as well. It's funny because I rarely think about selling prints of my stuff because um, for one they sometimes prints are more expensive than the painting because of production costs are expensive. Yeah it's super expensive to make prints unless you just make you know small 8 by 10s or little postcards or you know 11 by 17s are fun, but your artwork has to be that size, so. I just ordered resin from you, will I get a golden ticket? So here's the deal, the golden tickets. Technically, the first run batch of the four packs of tickets, so it was like 145 tickets, have all gone out, but I didn't send out a notice that if you order something at this point, there are no more tickets, and I kind of felt guilty about that, even though I made it clear in everything that I posted that once they're gone, they're gone, and it's just over. So I ordered another set. So before I had four sets and I just ordered one more set um, so that I can send to people that have been ordering that had no idea that it was over or not. So the, the short answer is yes. If you just ordered, you will get a ticket because I just ordered another pack of those. but. Because of the number of orders I get coming in, these will probably be out before we go on a cruise. And definitely by the time we go on a cruise, the golden ticket deal will be over. So yes is the answer. I just had to throw all of those things out there. So, but I did um, put out orders between the time that I ran out and I haven't gotten my new little batch of tickets in. This should be in tomorrow. Um, so if there is not a ticket in there, shoot me an email and I will just send it to you. Because I'm going to have to back send probably the last two days worth of people. Thank you, Anne. I got them off of Amazon. If you... Um, search Amazon. I don't have them in my little store, but if you search Amazon for scratch off tickets, there's like a billion zillion of them, different kinds for different kind of prizes. Thing is, almost all of them say, is it a boy or a girl, happy bachelorette, wedding things. This is one of the few ones that I found that didn't have some special event attached to it. LOL, Jeff, you could kill someone with that bracelet. It sounds heavy. 
It is. It's a really nice bracelet. My friend Danny Ham gave me that bracelet. I think that white outline just completely pops this whole face. I would outline my hair in white if I could. Somebody just say that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is tough here. Did you shadow under? Yeah. I was like, her face really stands out against like her jawline, but you did. You shadowed that. Charles is really loving that white outline effect. Isn't it stunning? But then again, Jeff does awesome ones. Night, Kim. So, I'll try to convince him to start uploading to our Teespring account. The thing about Teespring is they take like 60% of profit. Then again, we don't um, have to hold on to any inventory and there's no overhead on anything. So, I mean, it's good and it's bad. But if you guys want it, then I'll do my best to talk about it. See you tomorrow, Kim. And Ritterhoff. She's amazing. Also, I love how she says literally everything. Did I give her everybody the Anne Marie shot? Um, yes. That face would look beautiful on a t shirt. We have his sexy stormtrooper on a shirt in the in the shop, I believe. And that is one of yeah, but that's the most beautiful pieces. Oh, so good. Right on. Um, this face would look great on here. Even like a porthole portrait like this, since it's round. Going to do not your average poor artist ever again. Yeah, our um, shirt printer guy's been out of the country. Yeah, our guy's been in France. I'm writing notes, though, so I can get them printed for you. What is it? For Not your average poor artist apron. Oh, yeah. Noted. Um, Diane and Pat, the thing about printing your own e print is you have to have a printer that is large enough and high enough quality to print something that would be worth selling. You need stencils, right? You need to wait for the month. Well, you asked it. I need, like, a. Uh... Um, those printers are not cheap and the paper is not cheap and the ink is not cheap but I'm not above doing them we just have to get a better printer because it would be completely crappy of us as artists to sell something on the little printer that we have right now because it just doesn't do well you can get justice. well yeah the printer we have now but um you you can get really nice paper and if and uh if you're if you're if your scan is at you know 300 dpi that looks really nice on on a nice paper mm -hmm. All you gotta do is put a nice little frame and you're good. Dora says I want one of those bad. Thank you very much. I'll do my best, you guys. I'll do my best. Um, I know I said this 
before, but this piece is amazing. Who would have thought the outline of the hair in white? Wow. Thank you. I think the largest printer I found that's like affordable for us is like small business was like 11 by 14. I think the, the largest print was like, it's like 19 by something. 19 that's by 13. 17 by 13. Maybe. Don, I don't even almost know how to do that. You would have to let me know how that happened. I got you, Kat. So I don't know how to create like a pay for this file and then download it, image or listing. Don, you're going to have to like translate to me because I don't know what any of those words are. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, you guys. I took out my lamp holder. So we just folded. Look at his ratty little hair. He's just he looks like a big, puffy little bear. I don't know how to do this. Oh, well, just put it on the floor, then take it away. Take it away. I'd love to know how to do that. Rosie said, I would love to see this on a shirt with a caption, me on a good day. I love it. No, oh, it's a big boy gone. You know it. You know it. It just kind of all blends together. I think she looks good. I'm always looking at her face like really bad. These damn I hate these little blocks. We'll figure out how to I think the gold's over there. Can we grab it? No, this one here, or is this having to get it? Oh, that is it. All right, let's see here. I don't want to put it on any of that. Uh, we do have Photoshop. Hi, Highland Studio Art. It's funny because these are my original ones I made by hand. <laughs> Like you don't really want them too big, because then they get flimsy and and just you want to make sure you give more you know room for lines. Because if you're doing a line and it gets too much, it'll it'll that overspray will cut in there, and that's that's not fun. This this is the big stuff for like chins and like the arm. Or like a real straight jawline, or just even a nice curvature of hair. I think what I'm gonna do. So it's like 50-50 on people that like are about or not about the honeycombs. Well, Take pictures before the stencils for the e-print. Please don't put the honeycomb. Yes, stencil. No, just around the face. All right, y'all. Hi, in Canada. Love her just the way she is. Just saying. Y'all, we can always do another one. I know. Like, this is like something that's fun and 
This was just a test, remember? Sure, because we were going to do it on the big board for, for real for reals. I'll walk you through the process super easy and then you'll be able to offer different size prints. Okay, done. How can I get prints? We don't have prints available yet. Soon. John's going to teach me how to do it. I don't think we've done a live this long in a hot, steamy minute. Hot, steamy minute. Mm. Temperature waves. Amazingly beautiful. Thank you. And says, I wish my tests would turn out like that. Well, you just got to be patient, y'all. So, what is this paper that you're using? This is just uh, transfer paper for uh, for stickers. You're gonna take for vinyl stickers. Like it's just it's just like a a contact paper. So you're gonna honey come only on the face or only yeah, the just the face. Look how fun that looks. Yeah, that looks super fun. Everybody's like, oh, we do the hair. And now you're like, I'm only doing the face. <laughs> oh, we did a three hour one last week. I don't ever know how long we're here for. Kat says, oh, we're patient watching you. Would we be patient doing it? LOL. Some people are more patient than others. I didn't expect you to still be on when I saw you live earlier. Never know. So happy I figured out how to watch you guys on TV and still be able to chat. Love you guys. I'm glad you're here. Julie and can still chat. She chatting on her phone and watching from TV. Probably. That's what I would assume. Holding my breath too, man. Um, Erica, is that contact paper in your comments below? Um, two seconds. I don't know what that, I don't know what this is called. It's 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 the contact paper that that you can use for. Uh, God, I really want to like make these make this light like this. So put this back on the face and then dust that with the white. That's what I like to do. Do you think I can return the new tire I had to buy and put this on my car instead? LOL. I don't know that it would get you very far. Tire? It's a joke. Um, you said this is for stickers? Yeah, it's a transfer tape, basically, for when you cut the sticker out, you weed it, and then put this stuff on top of it, and then when you go to, here, I have one, right? Where's that? It should be right here somewhere. I messed up a whole right, thing of them. Hi, Ashley. Oh, makers. I'm glad you're here. Transfer tape. Sorry about that, y'all. Reconnect the 